It's unbearably hot. That's the phrase that people in Mexico have been saying most frequently lately. Watch the video to the end to find out how this information concerns you. Almost the entire country is suffering from extremely high temperatures, ranging from 30 to 45 degrees Celsius and even higher. Climatologist Maximiliano Herrera stated, Mexico is experiencing the most extense heat wave in its history, and this is just the beginning. In June 2023, temperatures in at least 22 out of the 32 states hit over 40 degrees Celsius. The unbearable heat has caused over 10 human fatalities. Experts note that what is unusual about this June is the intensity and duration of days with high or atypical temperatures for this month. A strong and extreme drought is observed over the large part of Mexico's territory. This is particularly alarming because it provokes a growing water shortage. A heat threatens the agricultural sector. Farmers from at least seven states fear it will significantly impact crop yields and subsequently lead to an increase in prices for products such as eggs and poultry. In Hidalgo and Querretaro states alone, 40,000 hectares intended for the cultivation of coffee, corn, beans and oats were lost this year. Farmers are also concerned that, in the near future, they may face not only water shortages, but also an increase in the cost of resources such as feed for livestock. The period of high temperatures in the country began as early as March and is forecast to continue until October. Irrigated and rain-fed agriculture is a source of employment and economic income. Thus, droughts are a threat that can create imbalances in regional and national economies. Currently, 700 municipalities in the country are experiencing abnormally dry conditions, whereas just a few years ago, local residents could not even imagine that they would face such a phenomenon. That's the answer to why it concerns you. Climatic changes are now happening so rapidly that they affect the entire globe. We have less and less time left to address the climate crisis. But there is also good news. We still have time to create the conditions in society that will help to unite all scientists to study and solve this issue. For more details, watch the forum Global Crisis there is a way out.